How's it going, Reef Keepers? I had a subscriber ask me about uh, basically just flow rate, um, flow rate through your sump, and you know what do you run your pumps at, and that kind of thing. So I figured I would talk about that a little bit and give you guys a peek at uh, the Melanaris Ras, which is awake and doing well, just kind of floating around. And then I'll turn your attention over here. Um, you can see. So I've got one outlet on either side of the overflow box. And this is the gentle rate at which the, the outflow, so to speak, is happening. Um, it is not fast. It looks higher on this other side, um, but that's because the um, emergency pump is got kind of hitting the surface on that side. Um, that pump kicks on if uh, there's a power outage, so, or, or it, rather it stays on. So um, anyway, you can see that it's coming out slow, and then you can see in the sump itself that it looks on the surface in the main chamber like there's pretty fast movement. That's actually generated by, you can see the little gray you know, blur in the back here. That's generated by a fairly powerful um, CJ AC pump that keeps the water within the sump moving quickly. And I think that a lot of people forget you can make the water in your sump m stay active and move around and um, you know have surface uh, tension broken so that film and um, scum doesn't build up without having super fast flow through the tank now this over here is a better look at what the actual flow rate of water from up above down through below and then back up is you can see right here where it kind of water waterfalls over, um, you know, into my Rocky Mountain fish filter um, filtration cartridges. You can see how slow. I mean, it's just it, it's not trickling. I mean, it's quite constant, but it is not you know gushing over by any means. Um, and part of the I mean, part of the reason for that I've always had pretty low, pretty slow um, flow rate. Part of the reason for it is that these units which are just stacks of rings that trap detritus you can see all the detritus trapped inside um you know out well outside rather the stack of blue rings they if you overtax them then they overflow and it would just overflow here of course um but i have to keep the the flow rate pretty low as it is for those and I like these better than filter socks and I don't have to um, buy constant refills of uh, floss or um, um, whatever it's called the um, for a filter roller roll just just roll for filter rollers um, not really interested in filter rollers nothing against them but uh, I keep I keep my sump flow I kept it low anyway these necessitated keeping it even a little bit lower uh, than I had it but part of my mantra for keeping the flow rate low is that I want it to be exposed to all my filtration equipment for longer. Now, I'm not some reef scientist or anything. I don't know if that actually helps. It's just a theory. But, you know, for one, I want uh, my reactor here to be able to have adequate time to pull in quite a decent percentage of the water going through the sump and run it through um, the Fozzy X uh, phosphate remover media that I have in there. Two, I've got my UV sterilizer, which runs off of just a little CJ 1.0 pump that you can see right there, right there. So it's not in line with any of my plumbing and therefore, uh, my UV sterilization is not fully optimized, you would say. It is not uh, built so that every speck of water gets exposed to UV. Some of that is purposeful. You know, I, it, some of it, I truly believe we shouldn't be just obsessively sterilizing every aspect of the tank. I don't, I don't like that approach. Uh, I think it... I think it does not encourage biological diversity enough, right? And um, Salem Clemens, who's part of the Reef Builders family, 
it, he speaks on this in every you know podcast that he's exposed to um, and everything he comments on, and he's a real expert in this. Um, and so I'm kind of kind of taking you know after his tact on this subject, which is let's stop just obsessively sterilizing everything. But that being said. I don't want the UV sterilizer to count for nothing. It is my, my ick management. I know I had a fish that had ick that I put in this tank and I've never had a problem with ick. And I think part of the reason is I keep the flow rate low enough that a decent percentage of the water does make it through the UV sterilizer, therefore keeping, um, you know, those nasty bugs at bay. So, um, I've got a Neptune and you can't really see it. I mean, you could, this little bit of orange is the best you can see, but I have a Neptune core 15 that is running at, I mean, maybe 40%. I almost said 50, but I, I think when I set it up, I actually had it lower than 50. So I think it may run at about 40% strength. And that's plenty to keep this, this you know, water moving through the sump at a nice, at a nice gentle clip. It does not need to be a hurried thing. It does not, you know, I have, I have had, you know, by the way, look at, look at the production of that skimmer. I mean, I just cleaned that out, you know, a couple of days ago and I'm not running it like super wet or anything. And I think that just that water circulating, circulating, circulating and just taking its time as it drifts through, I think that really gives the skimmer a lot of time to yank out, um, you know, things that would otherwise break down in the tank, um, you know, and create uh, excess nutrients. And I like that because I don't want to get a skimmer that's larger than this. This skimmer may be, may be slightly undersized for this tank. Uh, I think the rating is actually right on par with this tank, which means because manufacturers always soup up their ratings, I think it probably is a little small for the tank. But I don't really have to worry about it because I think that, that low, low flow rate it makes it so that I don't require some kind of supercharged skimmer to be ripping out of the water column as fast as it can, trying to, you know, desperately, you know, yank nutrients out. I think that the low flow rate enables this one to get a very good percentage of the water, um, you know, pull the nutrients out of it. So anyway, um, you know, I've got a backup pump on here that's set to the same flow rate. So even in the event that the core 15 gave out, nothing would change it would just remain at this you know calm steady clip and i think that that's enough um i just i never quite understood the mantra the approach of you know you want as much of your tank water turned over you know every hour of the day as possible you know i guess the thought is like if you had an inline uv skimmer or uv sterilizer then the whole tank would be going through that UV, you know, many, 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 many times a day and be keeping everything absolutely as sterile as you could get it. But again, that's, you know, as I talked about earlier, I'm not going for that. I'm not going for that, you know, overly sterile approach. So uh, if you're not going for that overly sterile, you know, obsessive, I'm keeping everything down, you know, at its lowest point, you know, ultra low nutrient even kind of thing. If you're not going for that, I don't see any problem with running a lower flow rate. It taxes everything less, by the way. It's taxing your return pump way less. It's going to last you longer, therefore. Um, you know, I think there's numerous benefits to not pushing your equipment to its breaking point. Um, you know, at breakneck speed all day, every day, I, I, I've really, you know, been happy with this low flow rate. So yeah, I guess you could say, um, I'm a low, f low flow rate guy. So, um, yeah, I'd be curious any of your experiences and any, any fast rate people, I kind of want to hear what the benefits are of that. I have no plans to run it, but I'm still really curious about, you know, why, why do you run a super fast rate on your tank? By the way, those work too. I'm not knocking those. Uh, it's just not what I'm going for or, you know, not, I just have found this to be really optimal for me. So, um, always curious to hear from you guys. All right. If you enjoyed, uh, please like subscribe, really appreciate it and love doing these videos guys. Thanks.